Hello and welcome everybody. This is Yandyman bringing you another Fleet Ups audio commentary. Today I have the pleasure of bringing you a 3v3 skirmish on a map that looks all resources to me. This map's called Six Something, and I count so many resources all over the board that it's just not even funny. Um, for this 3v3, there's it doesn't it, it's just jam packed to the gills with. Uh, either moons or players right next to each other. Uh, so, as we're wandering around here, let's take a look at the team. Starting off the top team, Mr. XT as the Green Romulans, his teammate as the Red Dominion, this is Zeb, and Zweistein sporting the Teal Federation. Now, we're going to pop down here and take a look at what they are facing. They are facing a purple dominion. This is Shude. I haven't seen this guy around in forever. Welcome back. Um, the yellow Borg, Ugly the Great, and the blue Borg over here, as th this guy is piloted by Tigger. Now, let's see what folks are doing. So the Romulans are... Um, where is that research station? No research stations, and we're going to see Rians coming out, and there we see them being built. So, Ron is going with some Rians at the moment. Uh, maybe they'll put in a station, a research station, research institute, thank you very much, for a couple of Lavals. Maybe, maybe not. Over here, the Dominion are putting out their first construction yard, almost expecting... What are we expecting from Dominion? You almost want to see a double construction yard build here, yeah, you, just for the, just for the fun of it. Now over here, the feds are putting down their um, bread and butter, the Starfleet Engineering, followed by the station, followed by another mining station. Very standard, very very standard fed build. Oh, and he's expanding immediately. Nice. Okay, down here to shoot a in the purple dominion. Here is a, whoa, Ketrotel Synthesizer. So, this guy thinks he is going to be playing for the long haul. He's going to get this guy up and start pumping out supplies early on. Now, the Borg over here. A recycling center. Um, I think Ugly has accidentally put the wrong thing down because there's, there's almost... No build that I can think of that starts with the recycling center. Now, I could be wrong. I've seen some crazy stuff from people, and the crazy stuff is actually quite interesting. But, um... It, 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 unless they're just going for a really long game, that is not going to work out. So, over here, you can see Tigger has... Um, is trying to chase off this scout. And if the scout's not careful, if those shields go down, um, Zweistein will lose a scout because the board can uh, board that sucker quite quite easily. And we see that Tigger is going for energy nose level 2, so you can expect early spheres. All and all, not a lot of ships out on the board yet. Ooh, some S2s. So Zeb is going to be throwing out those little nasties. And it does appear that um, I would say that Shude was a little bit careless with his scout and has managed to lose it. And now Mr. XT is all about the non-cloaking scout. Mr. XT is also expanding here early on. S2s from Shude as well. So, let's see what we're going. So, Shude is going against Romulans. Romulans is throwing out some Rians. The Rians are long range, and um, the S2s, and we'll have to wait till one pops out to see the, the special. I can't remember if it uh, takes is a good counter or not. Generally, the S2 is an excellent ship for Dominion. It's fast. It packs a decent punch. It has a great special. And let's see what this guy is. He takes... Um, he's 
resistant against long range, so an actually a really good counter against the Rians that are being pumped out. But now you can see Mr. XT has turned around and gone into Griffins, which is a medium range ship. So the S2s will not do any, will have no, uh, has no counter or no weakness, no strength against it. Up here, uh, Zeb has got his S2 out, but I don't see him producing a lot. He's got money that he's not spending, oddly enough, unless he is going for a large yard, which is comes in around 14k, and I would almost expect that to go down now, unless, unless Zeb here is busy off somewhere else. What Zeb is down here scouting around? Oh, he did put down something, and is that the arch large? Yes, it is. So, Zeb is going to go into either T15s or the B5s. Uh, any bets, place your bets now. I am betting B5s. So they're a great, um, they're just a great all-around ship. Over here, Zweistein is moving steadily towards um, a single yard which will probably include Warpins, so Intrepids and Warpins, decent overall. The Borg here, our Tigger is, wow, sporting 99 collective connections, 100, are, are, don't, no way, it is no way going for the early cube. That would be hilarious. Um, the one thing though is, the Borg are completely defenseless at the moment. They have nothing, and um, and there's no way Shudi can support all of them. Um, this is crazy. They are going for an early cube. I can almost, I, I, you can just smell it. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I would almost say that these guys have enough... Um, uh, enough... I don't know enough what. Uh, they have enough resources. The The cube is going to cost huge amounts, like 8... 8k worth of dilithium, and they're just nowhere near unless he's going to pick up some resources from his friend. Um... And we just don't see that sort of, we just don't see that sort of stuff on the board. Uh, you do see this uh, constructor, the assembly node has laid down an uplink all the way down here, so that is very, very telling of a, it, it just smells like a cube. And all the while the top team is just hanging out, having a good old time, S2 spam, Zeb. You cheeky bastard. We all love you. S2s with the B5s. Excellent. Um, just a very strong Dominion push there. Let's see what is some Laval's coming out. So, Mr. XT going all, running the gamut across everything here. Does run. So, let's see. Does he have. Oh, he is double yarding. Uh, looks like he is running into Dilithium issues. And here he goes. Um, he has managed to sort of to raid on, to raid on Mr. Shude, but it really to no effect. There's no. He comes in, uh, and Shude has ships in the vicinity to shake that off. So all the while sitting on 127, counting those collective connections, folks. When do we get that cube? When do we get that cube? Uh, what? Dear Fed player, um, please stop stealing the Borg Scouts. <laughs> so, Zweistein all over. So, there is the uh, to-do item on the progress status about the detector being too easy to board. I still think that a Borg player who loses his ship should not deserves to lose it. I'll be happy to see that, you know, them. and there's the cube. Good old cube. 
can't build it, doesn't have enough resources. Though this is an odd place to put this guy. Um, it's the least defended. The Dominion base would probably have been a little bit better. Uh, would have had the S2s for uh, support. And the problem here is, everyone say it with me, don't build a cube unless you can build the cube at the same time. You, you lay down 130 collective connections on top of all of the other stuff that goes in. And this guy, you do not want this guy sitting around. And there it goes. So folks, within a very short amount of time, we have a cube on the board. The Romulans are aware of this. Oh, and a ping goes off. Nice ping. Shoot a all over that ping. The these phase plates doing a great job of soaking up some damage, but really, um, that, oh, hello, a descent. No way. This is not a good choice. This cube is going up, and they're, they're just, there's nothing, no way. Th this guy is, they're not going to beat down this cube with this descent. It's got torpedoes, be great to bop that thing on the head, but nothing is going to stand in this next one minute to burn this thing down. Oh, and the Romulans are back in trying to beat stuff down a little bit. It's just not doing enough damage here. Everyone is freaking out about the cube, quite frankly. Oh, hello. A B5 makes its way in. Is looks like it's going to try to... doesn't, unfortunately, does not get the the kill off on this S2 as these guys are rolling in. Zeb and Mr. XT and Zweistein again all down on the cube. They need to be watching that timer. They are not going to no freaking way. No freaking way. A um, little bit too little too late. Oh, prototype all the way here. This is going to be the end of the top team as they are not going to be outrun, able to outrun this stuff. They are going to just rack up the losses. And this early cube looks like it is it's going to take the day. I'll be. I will be. Uh, they are making a nice little dent in it, but uh, they're just not too little too late. Not coordinated enough. And there comes the cube! Boom! All the way whack up to 100% health. And down go... Oh, and shoot a pop in the special on the, the cube. That special does help allies. So... Oh, and it's... Guess what? It's a... It's a beam cube. It is guaranteed to get kills. That's just crazy. Um, does anyone want to see an assimilated descent? I do. I kind of actually do. Um, oh, and there is the special trying to get away. The cube uh, using a whole lot of energy, but that will regen really, really shortly. So, in the meantime, looks like Mixer XT is trying to raid on Shude's base. And there's just no way that this descent is getting away from this cube. So, we have a cube on the board, folks. Early, early game, and... And the top team, having lost a ton of stuff, Mr. XT here, fighting against a construction yard, just doesn't have enough firepower to burn stuff down before they cycle through. T-15's coming out. By Shude. And let's see this. Let's see what this cube does. The only problem with this cube here, well, there's not many. Um, it's just a little bit slow. It's kind of a big map. Um, they will have to. They really should just sort of slowly march up into these uh, middle expansions. Uh, take a base there. Neat. I would highly. I would hope that this team, this bottom team. Um, protects this cube and let it do its thing. So let's see what Zweistein's doing up here. He's got E2s on the way. 
Intrepid. So the Intrepid is great. It's ADAI. It uh, takes reduced damage from medium range vessels. That cube is a medium range vessel. And what are we looking at? Uh oh. Um, looks like uh, Shude got a little bit too frisky and is now going to pay for it. Now the wonderful thing about these Griffins is they do have that sensor jammer and that weapons disabler. And that will that will help against the Borg. There is, of course, just one ship. Um, chances are that, and it unfortunately it's a Borg, and so the um, it's a, a system value is super high, and so it will be able to repair it will be able to repair its uh, damage subsystems really quickly. Now, so here we have the top team. Do they go for the cube? Do they go for the cube? Okay, if they're going to go for the cube, they need to be nice and in sync. Are they going to do it? That is the question. It is going to come down to... Okay, they should... Yes, they've got smart. They've got alley repair coming up. They're going to fight around... They're going to fight around this guy. There's the warp in. They are going to make a stand here. And these fighters are going to do a great job of soaking up some of that damage now. It needs to turn this guy around and repair immediately. Don't lose ships. That's really a big problem. These Rhymelins coming out of nowhere. Now, what do we got here? We're going to see. Can they burn this down? Shoot it. Coming up as soon as he can with some... Ooh, a nice little T-15 anti-short range. But they are going to go for the cube. Can they get the cube? They are... And the uh, catcher cell uh, white goes off, giving that cube extra uh, DPS. And they are going after Shude's vessels here. Are, have they given up on the cube? Um, I think they have. Uh, not. I, I, I would almost bet that that's actually a decent thing to do. Get some kills um, and run out, repair. Can they... Oh, they are focusing on that dadgum cube. They are not going to be able to do enough. It is going to be able to run into this base and um, set up camp. Now it is time for these guys to get out. There's no, It's almost like it's time to get out. You can see Zeb is peeling off. Zweistein is getting the retreat signal, and so is Mr. XT. Unfortunately, this uh, slow, long-range Excelsior is going to take a bit of a hit. But um, this cube should be very careful about... It's down to about 60% mm, health. Tigger is... It hasn't gotten a terrible lot of um, use out of this guy completely yet, aside from scaring the crap out of everybody. So he does need to be a tad bit careful. So more T-15s by Shude. These guys can tear up some stuff if they get too far. Oh, and Shude, a little bit careless for one of his T-15s, got a little bit too frisky. And Mr. XT on the ball, turning around, whacking the thing. Now, Mr. XT, a little bit careless there. Losing a ship pr should have cloaked, um, giving himself a better chance of getting out. Anything besides losing that ship, right? So, the entire focus of the game is sitting over here on this left-hand side of the board, watching that cube. Now, what is Ugly doing? Ugly, 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 are you eating a sandwich? Where are your ships? You are literally feeding. You must totally be feeding... Um... Anybody else. Is that... Oh, no. Is there another... Perfect logistics. Oh, here's a diamond. Perfect logistics. More resources? Uh, actually, I'm going to take that. That's a sensor range, I believe. My memory's not that great. So, here we have a cube sitting all by its lonesome. Shude is going out here trying to... Um, trying perhaps to scout. Um... 
And this cube is actually in a little bit of trouble. We see some E2s out here on the board. I bet you there's a warp in coming in here very shortly. Mm, about a minute away. Where, oh, where is... Mm -mm -mm, where's the rest of the fleet? They are gathering here nice and nasty. Big old large construction yard up. Needs an alloy repair there. And they could go after this cube. They could. It'd be a touch, a touch, touch and go, um, but they are trying to gather up that cube killing fleet. That cube is finally moving away, feeling the pressure. Now, well, sh we shall see. Is this cube going to? Uh, what is it going to do? It needs to be getting. It needs to be getting some use out of it. But I think it is slowly getting. Uh, it's just hanging out all by itself, doing almost nothing but scaring the crap out of people again. So Shooty going to take this um, opportunity to come up on Mr. XT's base. Nice move, nice awareness of where that fleet is. It does run the problem of getting cut off. Now, if that cube... This cube is hiding. Unfortunately, it doesn't get to... Oh, uh, well, okay. I, I, I'm down with this. It stays hidden. Um, they know where this big... The bottom team knows where this big fleet is. We have a small tactical force here. And let's see what sort of reaction they get out of Mr. XT. So, there's the warp bin you can see from Zweistein. Now Mr. XT is going to pull away his fleet. And... Let's see, does the entire fleet move or not? So the Borg are going to... Here's the diamond. Diamond and a sphere. I'm sorry, diamond and a cube. Should be getting just sort of a field day on this field yard. And I'm sorry, it's not a field yard. It's not the Klingons. So, uh, here comes the Romulans. Burning in. Oh, good old. Good lordy, lordy, nasty. A um, little bit of damage aspect from the uh, sensor disabler. And these guys are just tearing through Shude. Where is that cube? It's not moving. And these long range vessels, a touch slower, are going to get eated up. All in all, Mr. XT took a hit on his dime mining, and hit, that is where he's hurting, so that does stop production. But these guys need to... Oh, why are they pulling away? I almost said it's worth uh, burning through that bit of resources. Um, by resources, I mean shoot a ships. He had another couple kills in there. Uh, let him get away. But here comes that cube. Um, these guys need need to get their stuff together. These guys are getting all sorts of um, piecemealed. The feds are not. Oh, they're piecemealing. Okay, here they're going after the cube. No, now they're going after the diamond. They need to figure out what they're going for. This diamond is going down if they can maintain their constant fire on it, and they will. So good move on the top team's part. They know at least to burn some stuff down. At this point, I think they should also go after the Dominion, keep those guys, um, get some experience off of it, and they are. And down they go. Now, this cube is all by its lonesome, and the question is... Well, it's not exactly all by its lonesome. Can they get enough? They need to get all sorts of concentrated firepower. The feds, Weistein, needs to get his ships in there. Um, but it looks like they are going to back out and retreat, taking a couple of uh, ships with them. Cube's back in on the game, forcing them to fight. Um, this cube is... Well, it's drawing stuff in. Zeb needs to pull this ship out. Unfortunately, it's not able to go in. Down goes a Kitrasil White. And... Alpha Kitchell White, thank you very much. 
And are they going to get this kill? Down it goes, yes. So suddenly, Shude's base is under a little bit of pressure. And this cube has... Where is this cube? Can this? Can they take the cube? Can they get it? Are they... They They need to get all of their ships in. And Zeb pulling in and a V13. All sorts of fun. Oh, they can get it. They've got the cube if they want it. They need to stop... They, they need to stop this cube. This cube is theirs, and Tiger is going to... Tigger is going to be in all sorts of hurt if he... Oh, man, they are... They can't quite exactly make up their mind 100% that they want to go after this cube, and they need to not dally. No dilly, no dally. And this cube is taking forever. So the... <laughs> But they are going to get it. They need to... F oh, here comes a sphere. They just need to focus on the cube. It is down to, like, 5%. And... Fi or 15. Can they get in there? Get in there. This starbase is going to be upgraded. Yes, 120 offense. They gotta go after this. All in. They are so much... And the cube is down! Boom! And... The top team is now sitting on a ton of firepower that is completely unmatched by the bottom team. They can literally... They don't. They can just tear into Shude's all of his expansion here. Um, we'll just take a huge chunk off of the board. And now the top team is sitting in a very pretty spot. That was the whole fleet into that cube. I am looking around in the Borg bases, and I don't see anything else, folks. That was it. And the top team going the... going the Looks like they're basically making a victory lap here. They are... They have got a ton of ships out on the board. They are going to be able to just make some nasty experience off of this stuff. They are going to be able to take out that sensor station. So, Shude not able to get anything. Nothing out of it. Maybe he'll get a, get a little something out of these two stations over here. Oh, and a veteran griffin. Gotta love these guys. What did this guy do? <coughs> hmm, interesting. Unfortunately, these guys are splitting off, and they really kind of should just not split off. So the top team's sitting on the victory fleet. All they have to do is just waltz through everything. And Ugly throwing in the towel. And that there, folks, is the game. All right, well, want to thank all of you all for watching. I'll see you on the flip side. Drop me a comment. Uh, have a great day.